I'm Francesca, welcome. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a delicious recipe for you guys for a cold Thai mango peanut noodle salad that is so good, perfect for summer, really easy to bake and refreshing. And I'm very excited to announce that this video is sponsored by Lotus Foods. I've been using them for a really long time and I really enjoy their products. If you saw my Thai red curry ramen from last year, I used their organic brown rice and millet ramen in that recipe. So I was really excited when they said they wanted to partner up and create a really fun recipe using their organic forbidden rice ramen, which is so cool. It's this really deep black purple color made with black rice. It has a lot of nutrients and ancient grains in there and it's really amazing. And the color is so beautiful, but it has some extra added nutrients, which is awesome. They have a whole range of incredible products from Pad Thai rice noodles to rice ramen soup cups, the rice ramen, all kinds of rices. And they're a really amazing company and brand. And I'm very excited to be collaborating with them. Their story is incredible. You can read all about it on their website and I dive into it in the blog post that I wrote up for them. So I think you guys are really going to enjoy this recipe. It is delicious, it is easy to make, and it's really good for summer. As always, the full recipe is on my blog. There's a link in the description box down below for that. And you can also find all the ingredients listed out down below. With all that being said, let's get into the recipe. So the first thing we're gonna do is prep all of our vegetables for this. So I'm taking five carrots and I'm just shredding them in my food processor. You can also already buy pre-shredded carrots, whatever works best for you. Then we're gonna slice up some green onion. So I removed the stems and the top part and now I'm just going to chop them up with my knife and we're gonna place those in the bowl with the carrots and we're gonna set that aside while we continue to work on the rest of our ingredients. Then I'm going to cut up some mango. So I'm just going to cut the flesh away from the pit on the inside, cut up all the sides. And then from there, I'm going to make thin slices with my knife down to the skin. And then we are going to slide the knife underneath the mango in between where the mango and the skin meet so we can remove that outer bit of skin and then we're going to cut off any excess skin from there and then you can also slice the little pieces up thinner if you like i just find it easier to kind of do as best as i can and then i'll cut it thinner once it's out of the mango we're also going to slice up a cucumber i'm using an english cucumber for this and i just like to cut it into slabs and then i cut those slabs into match stick shapes or you can julienne it. And then you can just discard that middle bit though that is kind of watery and seedy because it just doesn't really work well for the recipe or you can snack on it. So then we're gonna pop that into a bowl with the mango. And then from there, I'm also gonna just pop in my cabbage. This is red cabbage that was already shredded. I also cut up one red chili pepper, this is optional. Let's make our dressing. So I'm gonna take my Thai curry paste, some chunky peanut butter. You could use creamy or chunky for this. I personally like the little bits of nut in there. Some grade A maple syrup, and then some garlic and ginger powder and some lime juice, about half of a lime for this. And then about a quarter cup of water. You can add more if necessary, depending on how thin or thick you want this dressing to be. Use a whisk and whisk it all up until nice and well incorporated and smooth. Again, if you wanna add like a tablespoon more of water, that's totally fine. Now we can finally make our noodles. So I'm just going to drop them in a pot of boiling water. These cook up so quick. We're gonna use two ramen cakes and they cook up in four minutes. So as you can see, the water is actually changing color, starting to turn a little bit red purpley. And as these noodles cook, they are gonna just turn a little bit of a purple color. They look so pretty and they're just delicious, but I just think they look so cool. So I'm going to remove it from the stove and we're going to drain them out, get rid of all the water. And then I'm going to just rinse them with a little bit of cold water just to cool them off a little bit before we mix it with the rest of the ingredients. So these are the noodles when they are all cooked and all done and they look so cool. So now I'm gonna take my big dish and I'm gonna add the noodles and we're gonna add in all those vegetables that we prepped from earlier and just get everybody in the bowl mixed up, mixed together. And I'm also gonna add in some chopped peanuts and then we're gonna add on our dressing. Oh my goodness, how good does that dressing look? It's like exactly what you want in peanut dressing. So good. And now we can just begin to toss that up. I like to add half of the dressing, give it a mix, and then add the rest of the dressing on top from there just to make sure everything's getting evenly coated and there's no spots that are missing dressing. So once I got it all set, I'm gonna pop it in my bowl for serving, add some extra chopped peanuts on top, green onion, and of course, white sesame seeds. And then that's gonna be pretty much it. We're all done. Now we can eat it and enjoy.
All right, guys, and that was our recipe. I really hope you enjoyed it. Like I said in the beginning, for us, because on my blog, there's a link in the description box, and all the ingredients are written out as well. If you like my videos, you know, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Helps the channel out and helps us to spread more vegan recipes around the world. Thank you guys so much for watching, and a very big thank you to Lotus Foods for sponsoring this video, and I hope you guys give this one a try. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.